Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel talk shows. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. During the view, host Joy Bihar wasn't trying to make any friends with Gen Z. When Whoopi Goldberg brings up a touchy subject, Joy bluntly explains the fix is for Gen Z to get a job. The View moderator talks about Gen Z fears. On the Tuesday episode of The View, Whoopi Goldberg introduces a fear that is expressed by Gen Z to the other hosts, including Joy Bihar. Furthermore, the moderator says that Gen Z says they are terrified of turning 30. While speaking on the topic, Whoopi couldn't keep a straight face. Admittedly, she chuckles as she discusses that they are fearful of losing their value as they age. And she struggles to get the words. They'll have nothing to look forward to out of her mouth since she noticeably sees it as ridiculous. Then dramatically finishing the thought that they can only look forward to, wrinkles, health issues, and death. And she adds they blame the internet for stirring up age phobia. Alyssa Farah Griffin shows compassion, but Joy Bihar has none. Notably, the View host, Alyssa Farah Griffin, compassionately could see their point. She agrees that anti-aging everything is all around, saying you don't actually look the way that you are. Then adds, no one's actually body positive. Additionally, Sarah Haynes agrees. Alyssa also says, they feel left behind by the economy, and they also see everybody trying to not age. However, Joy Bihar blatantly disagrees. Oh please, get a job, Joy chastises. Then she reiterates her point. There's a million job openings in this country. Seeing an obvious solution, she repeats, get a job. Joy Bihar is completely unswayed. After Joy Bihar interjects her sharp remarks, other hosts jump to Gen Z's defense. In like fashion, Sunny Hostin says she is raising two Gen Z's, and they have endured unnatural circumstances. For instance, economic changes, the worst of times, and an unprecedented pandemic. But Joy wasn't having any of it. She unsympathetically retorts, boo-hoo. While Sunny continues to gently be understanding, she says she thinks it is less about getting older and more about the uncertainty of the future that they fear. Fans comment on Joy Bihar's remarks. Within the comments of an article on The Wrap regarding Joy Bihar's crass response, many people gave their thoughts. One points out the current challenges. It's a lot more nuanced. Hoomers and X all were able to reasonably survive in their respective economies as up-and-coming professionals. Tradesmen etc. salaries did not keep up with inflation. Cost of living etc. meaning not only is pay low across the board, but there really is no upward mobility like there was in previous generations. They were sold on college debt being the end all cure for wealth building. Higher salaries, property ownership. Sadly, the game has changed. They probably can't even do basic things due to lower income, busier schedules, more competitive environment. The things they enjoyed as children, they can't partake in many of them. It's them wishing the lifestyles they grew up on, even the middle and working class kids. That makes them even more stuck in the past. It's very different. Unique and different. Others share their thoughts. While some agree with Joy Bihar's stance, others thought she was making her statements from a place of privilege. Everyone in the world had to live through the pandemics, including people that are working and raising children. So children living at parents' homes rent-free with meals and Wi-Fi are not so needy of sympathy MO. And the user proceeded to make a recommendation for giving up Netflix and Starbucks. Another echoes that point, the biggest financial issue I've seen with today's young adults is them understanding the difference between needs and wants. Someone else calls out Joy Bihar, saying, gotta love someone with 100 million in the bank telling another to get a job. 
For us average folk who make about $50,000 a year, the economy is in pitiful shape. Say what you want about Trump. When he was in office, all my bills were current, and I was in way less credit card debt than I am now with the same income. What do you think about The View host, Joy Behar, blanketly calling out Gen Z to get a job? Do you think she is correct? Drop your comments below.